Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy AK Uzarujarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. On the global side, we now have the free to play AGL Chi Chi and Goku, and in this video, we'll be going over a fast farming guide as well as my recommended hidden potential build so you can get the most out of this unit's kit. We'll get to all that information here in a minute, but first, I'll let you guys know I will be doing a giveaway on my channel during the 7th anniversary that will consist of a Ban Presto figure of Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta, as well as a $15 Google Play or Apple gift card of your choice. To be eligible for the giveaway, all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the awesome Discord community where the giveaway will be taking place. A link for the server is down in the description below. Stay tuned for more information on the giveaway soon, and best of luck to everyone participating. Be sure to drop a like on the video today if you find any useful information and comment down below and let me know if you have any additional questions or comments. So let's go ahead and hop over to the Dokkan Wiki where we can see the all fired up Marriage Showdown Grand Finale Story Event is where we'll get this unit and the Awakening Medals. And we have the increased drop category of Goku's family, which we'll talk a little bit more about here in a second. But the uh, unit will be dropped from Stage 1 and the Awakening Medals will be dropped from Stage 5. Now. Keep in mind that you do have a mission that gives you one free copy of the unit by clearing Stage 2 on Z-Heart once, so you that's one less unit for you to farm out. Now, um, if you look on the right side of the screen, I've got a breakdown there. We will get an Extreme Z Awakening for this unit. Once you get the unit Extreme Z Awakened, you'll be able to get the Super Attack up to level 15. So the farming guide has that in mind. You will need 19 total copies of the unit as well as 20 Awakening Medals. What you'll do is you'll focus on one copy of the unit getting Super Attack level 10 and all four Hidden Potential Paths unlocked, and then you'll get another unit to Super Attack level 5, and you'll Dokkan Awaken both units, and once the one with all the Hidden Potential Paths gets Extremes Awakened, you can get up to Super Attack level 15, so you'll feed the, the uh, level 5 Super Attack unit into the one with level 10, totaling 15. Hopefully that makes sense. I know it can be a little confusing for some, but if you have any questions on that whole process, again, drop a comment down in the comment section below and I'll help you out with that. Now, speaking of Extreme Z Awakening, we are talking about the Extreme Z Awakening stats here when we're looking at the uh, Hidden Potential build. The Leader skill and the Super Attack, you can look at that if you'd like, doesn't really have too much for the Hidden Potential build there, but the passive skill is where we're going to really focus on for our Hidden Potential build. Attack and Defense plus 123%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 22% per attack performed, which is a max of 88% and then launches an additional attack that has a high chance, which is a 50% chance, of, of it becoming a super attack. And then Goku's family or joint forces category allies keep plus 2, attack defense plus 22%. So that part of the passive says that you could either focus additional attack or crit based on how you want to play, because if you put some additional attack in there, you can get that attack and defense stacked up to 200% within probably the first turn, if not the first few turns, due to the fact that you already have an additional attack guaranteed, and then the more additional attack you have, once you get four attacks off, you basically get that 200% attack and defense. And then following up with the crit, you can do that because then once 200% attack and defense is achieved, the crits will start doing a good chunk of damage. So, focus, I'd say additional attack and crit about the same, and then based on how you play, you can do one extra node of crit or additional, however you feel, however you see fit. And I always say you want to go ahead and throw an evasion node in there. That's just my personal preference because you never know when that evasion is going to come in handy during some events where you might be almost getting uh, hit by an attack that might one-shot you or finish you off. And then the evasion comes in and you survive another turn and you can use a support item or whatever you need to do. So evasion is always my recommended, just one node in there at least. But anyway, the active skill also depends on those additional attacks because Greatly Raise Attack temporarily causes ultimate damage to enemy and delays a single targeted enemy attack for one turn, and that can be activated after performing four or more super attacks during the battle. So the quicker you get those four super attacks off, the quicker you can do that active skill. So that's why I say you can focus on that additional attack if you'd like follow up with a node or two less of crit. Uh, so basically both of them about the same, and then an evasion node on the, uh, on the side there. So... Goku's family category is our effective category here, and you can see on the bottom right of the screen our boost drop category for uh, Goku's family. Basically, your boost rates are going to be LR units are going to give you a 40% boost to the drop rates, a Dokkan Awaken TUR is going to be 35%, a UR unit a 30% drop boost, and SSR's 20% boost. 
Um, so both of the units you face in stage one and five to get the unit and the awakening medals are AGL type. So if you want to throw all, a lot of tech units in here, you can really, uh, you know, you pretty much can knock the, the units out one shot without a super attack and it can make it go by a lot quicker there. So it doesn't really matter. Here are your main lead units here um, and here are your sub lead units. Here are all of the LRs. Like I said, there's a lot of tech type unit LRs that you can throw in here. And there's actually some good free to play options for the leader skill because you've got the Fizz uh, Kit Gohan that is an all types lead. You've got the Strength uh, Spirit Bomb Goku that is also an all types lead. And then you've got the uh, Super Tech LR Goku here. Basically, he is just a, uh, a good lead for a free to play uh build especially for an event like this where it's not too difficult and then of course you've got all of these other units if you do have them you can use them but uh, just throwing that out there here are your other units you've got a lot to pick from for Goku's family so you can get creative but like I said the more tech type units in here I think it makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to focus on super attack so much and you can get the events uh, on stage one and five cleared quicker therefore making your grind overall uh, more uh, speedy so Let's go ahead and take a look at Dokkan Battle here. Again, Stage 1 and 5 is what we're looking for. Stage 1 for the unit, Stage 5 for the Awakening Medals. And I'm going to show you just an example of the team that I am bringing in for this. Uh, you can also, of course, use your boost panel uh, for an increased drop rate and the Oolong's Wish support memory. That way it'll make it very quick to get all of the Awakening Medals and the, uh, the unit that you need. So... Let's go ahead and take a look here. The uh, Go Bros is probably my favorite lead. They do some, they have some additional attacks built in, so you can do the uh, non-super attacks there, and you can go ahead and clear this pretty quickly because they can pretty much do two non-super attacks and knock the unit out. And you can see 32 seconds is the fastest that I've been able to do it, so very quickly, um, and it just it makes it very easy to farm out all 19 copies, or should I say 18 copies of the unit and all of the Awakening Medals as necessary. But that's everything for the video today. Uh, you don't have to use this team. You've got some other options, of course. The Goku's Family category is enormous. If you have at least a 200% drop rate for the boost, it should be just fine. You should be getting plenty of units. So don't focus too much on getting the team maxed out to 245%. But best of luck to you guys. Hopefully your grind for this unit goes quickly. That's everything for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. And again, comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. And I'll answer those and help you out the best I can. Again, make sure you're making yourself eligible for the upcoming 7th Anniversary Giveaway by subscribing to the YouTube channel and joining the awesome Discord community where the giveaway will be taking place. Stay tuned for more information on that soon. And again, best of luck to everybody participating. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video today. We'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.